From being a huge Star Wars nerd to learning how to throw a punch from the strongest man on Earth, Mila Kunis is one heck of an interesting person. She's become one of the most well-known actors of all time. But did you know she's got a lot of secrets no one knew about? And the most craziest one to start with is her accent. You know, repost this photo and that means you stand with these people or turn your profile picture into this. Did you know she's not American? Damn, the girl moved from Ukraine at the age of seven and had to completely change her accent to an American one. And boy, is she just brilliant. None of it came easy to her, though. On The Ellen DeGeneres Show, she said that it was super difficult for her when she was in second grade, that she had to store the memory of those days in the deepest part of her mind. She struggled a lot with being the new kid in a different country with a different language. It must have been hellish for someone that young. She said she used to break down in tears almost every single day, and being a child, unable to explain what's wrong can take a toll. Moving to America has its disadvantages. Even though both her parents were very educated in their country, her dad being an engineer and her mom a teacher, they had to come and do odd jobs because their degrees weren't transferable. And not to mention, they only had $250 in their pockets. Mila and her siblings grew up poor, but she says she still had an amazing childhood because her parents worked hard to make a life for them. She told Ellen that her grandmother used to drop her to school and give sweets to her classmates so she could become friends with everyone. How cute. Her first brush with acting came in a Barbie commercial, and it was a dream come true for young Mila. The best part was that she got the role in the first go, and she also got to keep the model Barbies used in the ad. But the sad thing was that it never hit the screens. And then three years working here and there, she finally landed a role in the TV soap Days of Our Lives. This job really helped put her on the map, and very soon she became a recognizable face. And while fame affects everyone differently, the best part about her is that she's super down to earth, which is part of why she's gotten so popular. Another thing about the actress is that she never shies away from working hard. Her family was very supportive of her career. She said that the only catch was that her parents never wanted her to compromise on her studies. Mila said they allowed her to do whatever she wanted as long as she kept that in mind. And even acting wasn't the career she wanted at the time. It was more of a side thing. The actress said that she didn't even think it could be a proper job for her. She also lied about her age when she auditioned for that 70s show. To be cast, the criteria was that the person had to be 18 years old. And Mila was nowhere near that. She was only 14 back then. But she lied and said she was going to turn 18 on her birthday that year. Part of the reason she lied was that her family was still struggling to make ends meet. And she wanted to make sure that she was contributing financially. She said that after filming, her mother used to pick her up and they used to go to work at Rite Aid, the grocery market. No wonder she didn't think acting full-time was sustainable. She had to keep up the financial support. While working in that 70s show, she also used to buy cheap t-shirts with her friend, and they sold it online with pictures of popular boy bands like NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys. She said she never kept any profits from it, though, and gave the money to her friend. What a sweetheart. Also, Mila never watches any of her movies and shows. She admitted to having watched only two episodes of that 70s show, but tries to stay away from it mostly so it doesn't get to her head. She's acted in Aerosmith music videos as well and slowly climbed up the ladder to become one of the most popular names in the industry. Then there's another unique thing about her. She had different colored eyes. One of her eyes is hazel and the other green. But because she started getting blind in one due to heterochromia, she got surgery and after that, it started changing colors. How cool is that? Not the blind part, but the different colors. Mila was referred by Natalie Portman for Black Swan, and it was so easy. She had an interview on Skype, and that was it. She got the job. But not everything is as easy as it seems. She had to work hard to fit into her character. The actress lost 20 pounds after going on a very strict diet. And not only that, she got injured multiple times during shooting, from tearing a ligament to almost dislocating her shoulder. 
She's also never gotten nude on TV. Yes, that's true. All the X-rated scenes in her movies or shows you see, it's not her. She gets a body double hired for those parts. And BTW, her first kiss, was also on TV. Now, that's hilarious. But the most adorable part is that it was with her now husband and father of her children, Ashton Kutcher. And it gets even cuter because can you believe they got engaged with rings they bought off of Etsy for only $190? Gotta love this kind of laid back attitude. Um, I decided to just get them off of Etsy. And so our wedding bands are from Etsy. They were both in a friends with benefits relationship before anything turned serious, by the way. But it seems they were meant to be because they have two kids and a very successful marriage now. They also make sure not to spoil their kids. I mean, the kids do have rich parents. But still, she and Ashton give only one Christmas present to their kids from each of them. Mostly because their grandparents can't stop fulfilling all their kids' wishes. The couple still makes quite a lot of time for each other. One of the rules of success for their marriage is to not focus on the kids or even talk about them when the two are out on a date. That's amazing if you ask me. Mila has also experienced the ugly side of fame. And it was quite a famous case, actually, involving other celebrities. Some pervert named Christopher Cheney was going around hacking accounts of female stars. Vanessa Hudgens and Scarlett Johansson were also on the list. Because of this, some awkward photos of Justin Timberlake on her phone were released to the world. Naturally, the ordeal affected her a lot as well, since they were being sold online. But thankfully, Cheney came clean after the investigations took place, and he was jailed. Serves him right. She knows how to protect herself, though. Mila was taught how to throw a punch by Chuck Norris himself. When she was younger, she got cast in his movies, Walker and Texas Ranger, and he showed her how to do it. That's not the only skill she acquired, though. Throughout her acting career, she's been open to learning things that her characters were doing, like starring in Max Payne taught her how to shoot. And she also learned how to surf when she was in Hawaii for filming Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Another interesting fact about Mila is she's a huge sci-fi geek. Even though she started late, she's jumped on the Star Wars bandwagon and admitted to enjoying it immensely. Not only that, she's a fan of World of Warcraft, too, and admits she can spend hours playing it. I, I had to quit the game for a good going on year now. Which one? World of Warcraft. It actually took a toll on her daily routine, and she finally had to remove it from her computer. Gosh, can relate to that. That's all the secret facts I've got about Mila Kunis that no one knows.